On April 25th, 2010, a lone figure set out on a nightly stroll through a South Arlington, Texas neighborhood. The path, over the course of two weeks, had become familiar. One house stood out from the rest. It was a cute pink brick home with a well-manicured yard and a brick mailbox adorned with a small green ceramic frog on top. Each night, the lady would watch for this house that marked the halfway point on her walk. Occasionally, the frog was moved to a new spot as if the homeowner sensed it grew bored. It was because of this she believed they must love this frog. On this night, in the mere seconds it took for her hand to reach out for the frog, tucking it close to her, lives would forever change as she continued her walk with company. The following day, the frog's picture was taken on top of the sign for John Peter Smith Center for Cancer Care in Fort Worth, Texas. Hours later, he would mail his first letter and picture home to his family. I'm sure by now you've noticed I'm gone. Please don't be mad at me, but I've decided to spend time with a family who has a sister and brother with cancer. I'm sure I can bring them some joy during this time. P.S. Please don't try to find me. I promise I'll write as often as I can and I'll be back before you know it. Keeping identities and location secret throughout the duration of these writings, this is a collection of anonymously sent letters narrated by the frog to his family. Initially, these letters were not written with the intent of publication. Years would pass before the frog was finally reunited with his family. This is a true story of one family reaching out to complete strangers by sharing the most personal aspects of their lives as the story of a cancer journey unfolds. The Frog Letters by Diana Ray. Available paperback and ebook 